How has the media impacted your personal image and your sense of personality? There's a joke in our household that, you know, we're watching the news and then a reality show comes on and I'm like, turn it off, turn it off, or turn down the volume. And now as a mother, I'm more protective of, of the, the volume and, and the noise and the, the hysterics and the um, vitriol and all the damaging language and images that we see vis-a-vis uh, -vis our sort of modern mainstream media. So. Uh, I'd love to have a better sense of humor about it, and it's something I'm working on. Rachel Maddow in our documentary has uh, this incredible uh, ability to deal with uh, negativity in the media with grace and, and humility and humor, and I'm hoping to emulate that at some point. So you interviewed a lot of women of many different ages and generations. Did you find that women of different ages had different views on women in the media? Actually, I did not. I actually found uh, a very uh, similar uh, response to the um, unfortunate uh, underrepresentation and misrepresentation of women in mainstream media. How does the media impact our perception of women in the government and Congress? Unfortunately, the media is sending these uh, messages that there's a double standard when it comes to women. And the media has, certain media outlets, I should be careful, I'm not talking about all media, uh, there's some respectable media, but um, certain media outlets are, uh, have gotten away with disparaging comments towards women, focusing on um, a woman's uh, uh, value being in her youth, her beauty and her sexuality, and if she's smart and powerful and not of a certain um, aesthetic or a certain um, age, they're, they're critical of her as if that really matters when actually she's an incredibly powerful person and she should be in a leadership position and she should be revered and she has every right just as every man does to be uh, in public service and be a political figure. This film is clearly the result of a lot of work but I'm wondering if you had a particular experience or a particular moment that convinced you that you wanted to undertake the project. I had quite a few experiences. <laughs> there were quite a few moments where I thought, okay, something is just not right here. Um, I would say I was really enraged during the 2008 campaign when I saw the sexism that was directed at not only Hillary Clinton, but Sarah Palin and the wives of some of the political figures. and. That really, really made me recognize that there was something wrong and that uh, there was something in our media that was allowing disparaging comments and limiting comments about what it is to be a woman um, that, was, that was ultimately sending a really unhealthy message uh, to our culture and to our community, um, that it's okay to disrespect women. Your film has a clear relevance to women and men today, but do you have a specific target audience and what would you like them to take away from your film? I would say my target audience is uh, young women who uh, feel disempowered and feel uh, vulnerable given the, the onslaught of the media's negative messages and I want them to feel as a result of the movie a sense of um, inspiration and knowledge uh, and, 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 and that they have power and the ability to change things and that they can stand up to media injustice and media misrepresentations and media underrepresentation.